Hey, welcome back to my channel and excuse this lighting i'm using my ring light because when i was done doing my makeup the sun is not out no more so there's no more sun so it kind of looks weird <clears throat> excuse my voice and my hair i didn't do my hair so this video is gonna be a beauty favorites of 2017 and i know i'm so late like i've been trying to film this video since i think january 7th I'm not sure. Anyways, let's get started. Starting with one of the palettes. And this is the I Love Sarai collaboration palette. I mean, yeah. And it's the palette Saucy. So she came out with Chicky and Saucy. This is for ColourPop. So you guys have seen me use this in a video before. And that's what it looks like. And I love, if you know me, you know I love pink. I love anything, pink makeup, anything. So this shade right here is so freaking beautiful. And I'm not going to lie, this shade is a little hard to blend. But with the right blending brush, you could do it. And I think it was like $16. So it's really affordable. The next product is a powder. So this is the Airspun Translucent Powder. And oh my god, my hair. This is, I think, the only powder I've tried that I really like. Because the other powders were too, they had like a cast. One of them had a yellowish cast, the other one had a white cast, and then the other one had flashbacks. So this is actually one of my favorite ones. It's really good. And I don't know how this would work on like darker people, but on my skin tone, it doesn't leave flashback, no white cast, nothing. Next, I have a bag of one. But here's my e.l.f. bronzer, and this is a sunkissed glow bronzer. It says the shade is sunkissed. This is what it looks like. And I love this one. It's not patchy at all, and it's really buildable. I'm wearing this one today. And I've tried the Lorac one, and I did not like that one. And this one cost me $2. So drugstore is really stepping up their game. Next, I have my NYX Ombre Blush, and this is in the shade Mauve Me. I actually got this one because I seen Laura Lee. She, it was in one of her favorites video, and I had to try it. So this is what it looks like, and I've only used this shade right here. It's a mauvey shade, duh. And I don't know why it looks like this because I never use this shade up here, and it's really, really pretty. And it's like it's not a peachy shade. I wouldn't know how to explain it. But this one is really buildable too. And I think I got this one for I think $6.99 at Target. Now another ColourPop product is the Ultra Glossy Lip. And this is from the Laura Lee collaboration. This is the shade Wham. And I'm wearing this today. And I actually put on another lip gloss. And then I put this over it. I would not recommend you just wear this by itself. Because it's just going to like like too much but on top of something else it looks really nice and i think this one was four or five dollars and it came out about one or two months ago this is a mario badescu a low i mean no this is a rose water spray they also came out recently with the purple one that one's a lavender one and they also have the aloe vera one but i just have this one and to be honest, I tried this as setting spray and I did not like it. I just like this to, you know, to prep my face. I feel like it just leaves it so refreshing. And also, I think this is one of the things that keeps my skin from, like, super breaking out. Like, when I use this, my skin doesn't break out. After I take off my makeup, it still looks the same. I do not have any new breakouts. I think I got that one for $7.00. And another setting spray is Spray Set and Go by Project Beauty. And I got this on a boxy charm, but I think it retails for $13. And I never heard of this brand before, before I had gotten it. And it's a decent size. But I mean, basically I got this free. So I'm almost done with it. And this one, it's more of a... This spray leaves your face looking really dewy, you know, when you don't want to have a matte face. Another one of my favorites, you guys already know. I think this is everyone's favorites. 
and I've only seen two people say that it makes their skin dry like under their eyes but to me it doesn't do any of that and this is a shade fair neutral a little lighter than my skin I just love this one and I wear this every day favorite highlight I really recommend this you guys this is the Becca highlight and this is the travel size the little mini I have two of these this is a newer one I still haven't used this one but I didn't want to show you guys the older one because that one is cracked so if I show you guys like this probably little chunks are gonna fall out so this is what it looks like and it's more on the gold side let me swatch it um, I don't know if you guys can see it but it looks really nice on the skin and this is actually I forgot to apply highlight today that's how my, my makeup doesn't feel right So dumb. So I just went ahead and applied a little bit. And you guys can't really tell, but it's so, so, so pretty. And I love this one. You could wear brown eyeshadow or what I'm wearing right now. And it'll still look pretty. It won't look over-exaggerated. And the consistency is pretty creamy. And this one, I got it in a box with more stuff. So I don't know what the individual price for this one is. But the one I had gotten before... I got it with this liquid highlight, which I don't really like liquid highlights, but for this one and the other one I had gotten together, it was like $15, but it's worth it because it lasts a long time. The full size Becca, oh my god, sorry, the full size Becca highlight, I think is $38. So next, I have this beautiful, beautiful eyeliner. And this is a Stella Stay All Day waterproof, waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. And this is how it looks like. And I'm actually not wearing this one on today, but I do wear it every day. Well, every time I do my makeup. And what I like is you don't have to press a bunch of times to get product. I'm going to show you guys. Yep. And this is not matte. It's just like regular i guess but it's not super shiny it's like somewhere in between and that one i also got it with the other in a box with the becca one this little boy is so bad next i have the wet and wild primer and this is called photo focus face primer cruelty free so that's a plus and it says right here it refines pores fills fine lines brightens complexion even skin tone I don't know about all that, but it's it's not like the best because I have like huge pores, but it is better than the other primers I have. And the consistency is not super watery or super thick. It's somewhere in between and this is white. And I like to use this even if I don't wear makeup. I'll just rub it all on my face. Oh, this hair is bothering me. And that one, I think it costed $5.99 at Target. Next is the infallible pro glow foundation from l'oreal and this has spf 15 in it which i like when my foundations have spf and supposedly it says 24 hour foundation i don't know if it lasts that long because i never had makeup on for 24 hours but in the coverage it says medium coverage to me it is a medium coverage and I think this one it's a little bit off like you guys can't see but if you compare my neck to my face my neck is darker than my face so when I go down right here you guys could actually see this looks super white so the matte one I haven't tried that one because when I went to buy this one there was no matte ones that matched my sh my skin like the only shades there was were super dark shades that will probably be good for contouring but no and I think this costed somewhere between eight and ten dollars. I don't remember. And I'm almost out, but it did last me a while. And this leaves your skin looking dewy, but not too oily, you know. But I'ma definitely have to try the matte one. We're almost done. 
I have this Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And this is not new, but it is new to me because I did try it in 2017. The only thing is it kind of smells like paint. If you compare this one and if you've tried the, the e.l.f. brow gel, there is a big difference. And in the packaging too. I love this packaging. But the other one doesn't smell like paint at all. And this one kind of has like a slight smell. But since you are applying it up here, you're not going to be able to smell it. And it's not like you can't smell it when it's on your eyebrows. But you can only smell it if you like sniff it. And this one also came in the box with some other things I had just told you guys about. So I wouldn't know how much this costs. I think full size will be about $18. So I'm not sure though. But I'm not wearing this today because I might take my makeup off in a little bit after I film. So I didn't want to waste it. And <sighs> my son is eating my, my package from my palette. Oh my god, he really just took this apart and bit it. Don't have kids, y'all. Just kidding. <sighs> He's just slobbering all on my makeup. So, the last thing I'm showing you guys, because if I showed you guys everything I love, you I would never be done. So, this is the famous, popular Morphe 3502 Second Nature Palette. And there is the 350. I think, I forgot what it's called. It's a 350. And that one, it's more, it's kind of the same. It looks kind of the same. Except that it kind of looks matte. And that one has more brown shades than orange shades. This one has a bunch of orange, reds. And the only shade I did not like, I tried this shade wet and with the brush and with my finger. And it just didn't work for me. So it's this shade right here. And it's gold. And the shade name is Pure. It's, it just doesn't want to come off the palette. I rub it and nothing. And that just sucks. But this shade right here, which is also a shimmery shade, that one works so good. So I don't know what's wrong with this shade. And I bought this palette mainly because of the shades right here. And those are the shades I never go for. I always go for these shades down here. And this palette, I think it retails for $20, $23. Yeah, $23. Love, love, love this palette. I know I haven't had any problems with any shades, just that shade. And I put the shade names up here. I taped them. And I just love what Morphe did with their new packaging. Because I wasn't feeling the big red M. I just didn't like it. This is more simple. So that is it for today, you guys. And I'm going to probably film another video after this that was requested. So, oh my god, my hair is a mess. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave comments. Like, thank you guys so much for watching.